morning and welcome to Museum of Cornish Life. And my name is Isabel and this morning I'm going to have a go at making some peg dolls. Um, and the inspiration for this was of course Flora Day, which would normally be taking place tomorrow. Um, and if you were here on a, on a normal year, this place would be a hive of activity, there'd be greenery coming in, there'd be arches going up. But of course, for the reasons that we all know, unfortunately we won't be able to celebrate Flora Day this year in the way we normally would. But I was inspired by Flora Day because of the amazing dresses. And that's why I've got my special sushi skirt on today as well, in honour. Um, and so I thought I'd have a go at making a peg doll to celebrate Flora Day. So while I was at home preparing this, I got a bit carried away and I did a more of a kind of a trial dancer in white really, but I put a little sash on, little head thing, and then I've got the gentleman dancer here. Now I know that in the midday dance at the moment, the gentlemen wear grey hats, but mine's an old fashioned dancer. He's a gentleman probably of the 20s or 30s, so he's wearing a black hat. Um, and I did a little scene of one of our, the beautiful um, Helston houses because they're always decorated with flowers and look amazing. So I've had a go at replicating that. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So first things that you're going to need are obviously pegs. Any type of peg will do. These are just basic um, cheap wood ones. Um, you can use plastic ones. If you've got the really lovely old fashioned long ones, they're even better because they're really easy. These are a little bit more tricksy, but you need a peg. Then you can use anything to make a costume. Um, you can use a towel, cupcake, I know you've all been baking so you've got cupcakes, uh, serviettes, this would make a good one because it's two-toed, scraps of material, ribbon, anything you like, even tin foil. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do one with a, a little tin because I like this because it's kind of like my style. So first of all, flatten it out a little bit and fold it in half like that. Now the important thing to remember with your peg doll is that actually you want your peg upside down to the way you would normally think because that's the squishy bit but we're going to use these long bits for the legs. So get this and then all you have to do is cut a slit in the middle Tick, like that. Try and get it in the middle if you can, doesn't matter too much if you don't. Just a little slit like that, oh I made that one quite wide and then what you're going to do is pop this through. Now I would advise that you push up from the bottom, obviously you want your legs the right way round, so they're that way so they can down, and then just get a little bit of sub tape, and squish this around. Um, I find that my peg dolls have a front which looks really pretty and then a back which doesn't look quite so good. Um, there we go, so I'm just going to tape that down like that. Lovely, and I've made mine kind of 50s flares, even 30s flare actually, but probably 50s. Then for the body, really simple, just get a scrap of paper, or you could use a bit of, another bit of material like this lovely blue. You could actually, actually, let's do that. I'm going to tie the blue around, let's have blue and gold. Um, and if you can just twist that round, a little bit of tape, bigger bit of tape this time, stick that on like that, super duper duper. And then, to make the face, all you've got to do is just cut out a little face shape. Do, 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 cut a little face. Ooh, don't make it too big. First time I did this, I made a massive face, and then I realised that, of course, it wasn't in proportion to my peg, so it did look a bit silly. Um, another trick, make sure you draw the face on, because you've eyes, nose and a mouth. I'm going to do some lovely black hair. Shh, 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 shh. And then this down. Do before you stick it on. It's really tricky to draw the face on once you've stuck it on. I made that mistake as well. Um, for a good bit of glue, any glue will do, and you can pop it and stuff like that. And that is a really quick but really good way of making a little doll. If you want to do a sash, um, when we buy clothes nowadays, for some reason, everything seems to have a tag in it like this. Um, really quick way to make a sash, get some of these if you've got them lying around the house or you realise they're in a jumper or something, you never use it, you can just wrap it round and round and round, which is what I did with this one earlier, and it makes a really nice little sash. So that's very quick and rushed, but even so you can see it makes a lovely doll. Um, now, of course, with our dancers, we do need to have a somebody who wants to wear a suit. And by the way, I said that this is a female, doesn't anybody can wear a dress, so I don't mind if yours is a 
male dog, female dog, or doesn't really matter. Um, you could even make an animal one if you wanted, or an alien. I don't care. Just go for it and make one. So if you want to make a dress, that's how to make a dress. Now, for somebody who wants to wear a suit, same thing. These are going to be the legs. But this is a little bit more tricky because obviously you've got to make some trousers. So get a piece of card like this. Wrap it around so that you've got it the right length. Cut it and stick it. I did prepare one earlier and put it on. Again, I find it's actually easier to draw on these once they're on the doll. So, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to make this a pinstripe. So draw it all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And then you need another one. Whoops, this one's come undone. Stick it. Stick it on. Whoop, up you go. And then pinstripe again. Now the reason I've done pinstripe this morning is I actually wanted to mirror, I don't know if you can see all the way back there, but we have a beautiful suit in the back and they have pinstripe trousers. So I'm trying to echo that one just a little bit. For the top, um, you just need a coil, a bit of paper. Make sure it comes right down over the top of your trousers. And again, I found this much easier to do once it's on the body. So I'm gonna have some buttons down the front so that's my v-neck like that if you can see i've done the buttons in the v-neck and then tick, tick, pinstripe all the way around now can you spot what is missing from my dancers we've got the legs we've got the bodies we've got the heads oh i need to do a head on that one do a little bow tie and ears and eyes what's missing arms quite tricky so Options for making arms. If you've got lovely pipe cleaners, you can of course twist them around. Um, I'm going to, excuse me, madam, you, 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 you losing your stash. Whoops, and the body now. Whoop. Oh, live filming for you. Yeah, pop that back on top like that. Whoops, wait a film. There we go. Pop it back on. Put your head back on. And you've got some arms. Now, if you don't have pipe cleaners, you might have some of these at home. Now, if you've got them, obviously already, and you've already bought them, then please do. If you're going to go and buy some, can you please try and make sure you get the ones that are paper. These ones are paper, so they degrade, because we don't want any more of these ending up in the ocean. But they do make rather fabulous arms, I think. So again, good old sellotape. Stick them on like that. Um, and then, because they're made of paper, you can colour them in as well. Like that. A bit more colour tape, I think, is required on this one. To hold them in place. And of course, you can put them anywhere you like. Um, for making a hat, uh, just draw out the design that you want. Make sure you fold it in half so you get the design the same both ways. So, I'm going to have a hat like that, and it's going to be black one again I've decided lovely I'm going to cut that out I don't know if you can see that's probably better to my camera person is very wisely focusing on the one I did at home but it's quite sketchy is this one and again using a little bit of glue have I got this the right size oh that's a very big hat but that's okay. You can see what the principle is to make a big hat. There we go. It's kind of hat shaped. I'm going to give this person a very large hat. They're clearly into hats and they're going to have a large hat. So that's a really quick one. Like, doo -doo! so that's my very super quick pinstripe person in a suit dancer with my really, actually, I think more Art Deco style dancer. Doo -doo -doo. Now, if you want to do the children, obviously the children are always dressed in pure white. And the best thing I have found to do that is one of these paper towel. And you can cut through and wrap around as I did with this one, which I made earlier. Again, gone a little bit Art Deco, I'm not sure why. So those are my peg dolls so far. Now, I'm gonna throw a challenge out to you all because I know that we have many, many creative people here in Cornwall and in the country and indeed in the world. 
and I would really like you to have a go at making your own peg top. Could be inspired by anything. Of course, if you're from Helston, I'm sure you're going to be inspired by a dress you've worn or a dress you were planning you might wear when you're older. Um, if you're a young person, you might want to kind of show us what you were going to wear with your whites. Um, but it could be anything. It could be a punk doll. It could be um, a dress for the future. It could be a suit from the past. If you're a designer, if you're, and especially if you're a fashion designer, designer, I challenge you to pare your design right down and make it so that it fits on one of these little pegs. Um, take a photo and then please do send it to us. And if you're into your hashtags, can you tag it? Cornish catwalk pegs. Because I am sure that the designs you're going to produce are going to be good enough for us to have our own catwalk. So I really hope that you've enjoyed um, seeing me make a very quick peg doll. Oh, and by the way, if you want to make the seamscape, a bit of cardboard and draw on your design and then you can stick your pegs on. Okay, and that will make you a really good seamscape. I should have said that earlier. Um, anyway, take up the challenge, make an amazing peg and I would like to leave you with um, the Flora Day dance. We are really, really lucky in the museum that we have this incredible Flora Day clock and normally on the hour it gives us a little burst of Flora Day and makes us smile. Um, so I'm going to get this up and running and leave this for you to see and enjoy um, because it really is joyful. Thank you ever so much.